For the past decade, China's ruling Communist Party has led that country on the path to becoming the world's largest economy. The most recognizable of China's leaders is the outgoing prime minister, 70-year-old Wen Jiabao, a populist reformer known as the People's Premier. Mr. Wen, affectionately called Grandpa Wen, is often pictured in state-run media, arriving at disaster scenes like this one, bearing promises that the government will aid the needy. But a New York Times investigation has found that Wen Jiabao is also the head of one of China's wealthiest families. With a fortune valued at $2.7 billion in stakes in everything from hotels and insurance companies to luxury jewelers and internet startups. These publicly available documents show assets in the names of relatives of Mr. Wen and his wife. The Prime Minister's name never appears on shareholding documents. It's unclear how much Mr. Wen actually knows about his relatives' investments, even as they have profited from his political clout. Either way, the family appears to have gone to remarkable lengths to conceal their wealth, hiding it behind layers of partnerships, many of them formed with state-owned companies and some of Asia's richest tycoons. The Times found no evidence that Mr. Wen's relatives broke any laws, but the sheer size of their fortune and their attempts to conceal it are likely to pose a political challenge to a leader who has dominated Chinese politics for much of the past decade. Wen Jiabao was born in 1942 during wartime in the northern city of Tianjin. As a youngster in a family of teachers, Mr. Wen took an early interest in geography, and in college he earned a degree in geology. In the 1960s, during the Cultural Revolution, he was sent to western China's remote Gansu province to work as a geological surveyor, mapping some of the country's most difficult terrain. Later, he became a bureaucrat at the Ministry of Geology. In the 1980s, when Deng Xiaoping began searching for young party cadres to professionalize the leadership ranks, Wen was recruited to work in Beijing. But his political rise was threatened on the night of May 19, 1989, when he appeared in Tiananmen Square with party leader Zhao Ziyang. As Zhao appealed to the young protesters to end their occupation of the square, Wen stood stiffly at his side. A couple of weeks later, soldiers opened fire on the protesters, killing many. Zhao was purged from party ranks for appearing too sympathetic to the protests. Party experts say Wen Jiabao avoided the same fate by pledging his allegiance to party leadership. In 2003, he became China's sixth prime minister and began a decade-long campaign of populist politicking. State-sponsored media followed him everywhere, especially after traumatic events like the Sichuan earthquake. <laughs> While President Hu Jintao is known for being stiff and expressionless, Wen Jiabao has mastered the art of shaking hands, kissing babies, and chatting up peasant farmers. The public has rarely seen photographs of him with his own wife and children. Wen's wife, Zhang Beili, is a major player in China's jewelry and gem trade, and is known to be rich. Government censors often delete photos of them together. Wen Jiabao and Hu Jintao have presided over a government that is superb at generating economic growth, by any means. Analysts say the two leaders have been less adept at fighting corruption or strengthening the rule of law. Next month, the Communist Party will announce the new leadership lineup, the men who will lead China for the next decade. Wen Jiabao is expected to retire early next year, but will likely remain a strong backstage force as a party elder. Regardless of whether the prime minister knowingly helped his relatives amass a fortune, analysts say this will almost certainly weaken Mr. Wen's standing in the party.